this is Nancy at A Crone's Intuition. Um, I woke up early this morning because this morning is when I had my cataract surgery on my right eye. And um, I have been using this deck, uh, the Path of Light Oracle, um, for my morning devotions. And this morning, um, the card Karma came up. And I thought I would share it with you all. This is what it says. Your actions plant seeds for the future. The sum total of all the seeds you plant creates the person you become and what you experience. Right action flows from the true self and wrong action from the false self or ego. Commit to living from your true self and your action will be aligned with the highest good. And from the uh, Bhagavad Gita, the quote is 414, Actions do not affect me as I am not attached to their results. One who knows this truth does not become entangled by actions and is free. <clears throat> and it goes on to say, The word karma has become part of the common parlance of the modern world, but its meaning is often misunderstood. The Sanskrit word karma literally means action. The law of karma refers to the fact that actions have consequences and all action sows the seed for the future that corresponds with the intention with which it is offered. The effect pre-exists the cause. When we offer action and service with the desire to help others, it is stainless and without emotional residue. By offering our actions, <clears throat> in this way, we received a gift that cannot be separated. No, that cannot be surpassed. Excuse me. The deep fulfillment and meaning that only comes from the alignment with our soul. The law of karma suggests that we are continuously creating our life through our actions. Actions mean not only deeds, but also words and thoughts. Every action plants a seed for the future. The sum total of all the seeds we plant with our thoughts, words, and deeds create the person we become and all we experience. We reap what we sow. If we sow a seed today, for example, of rising early and doing our practice, that seed makes it a little easier to do it again tomorrow. Each morning we either help or hinder the growth of that seed. When we rise early, we water the seed of our practice habit that nourishes our life. When we sleep in instead, we water the seeds of the desires of our lower self, which holds us back and produces suffering. This planting process is occurring all day, every day, in all areas with everything we do. With everything we do. Each of our actions is a vote, so to speak, in favor of who we want to become in the future. Given this, it would be extremely helpful to know which, action, which actions help us and which actions hinder us. In then 417, um, the quote from the uh, Bhagavad Gita is, in order to comprehend the law of karma, one must understand what right action is and what wrong action is and what inaction is. Right action is action that flows from the self and recognizes the oneness of all existence. The basis in respect and honor for all life and, its pro and it produces security and freedom. Right action is action that accords with our dharma, our duty, and our purpose. Right action is selfless action designed to serve others. Selfless action is action not driven by the separate ego egoic self for its own ends. Rather, selfless action inspired by the self soul to assist all. Our job or duty, our dharma then, is to offer our action and service with all our heart and soul, and then let the universe take care of the rest. 
Wrong action, conversely, is action motivated by the separate egoic self without regard to the impact on others. Wrong action is an action that serves I, me, and mine for self-gain. It results in insecurity and bondage. Wrong action is action in violation of our dharma, our duty, and our purpose. That Darth Vader is my son sending me a text. Wrong action is action born of ignorance, fear, resentment, anger, lust, and greed. Let me just see here what he says. He's taking me to the, the um, urgent care place today. Not urgent care, but... Um, Um, let's see, where was I? If we wish to live a good life that is free from suffering and that is truly fulfilling and nourishing, then we must live in alignment with this guidance of right action, wrong action, and inaction. Uh, 415 from the Bhagavad Gita says, A wise spiritual aspirant from ancient times who sought liberation, performed dutiful action, followed by following, follow in their footsteps. A common misapprehension about karma is that it is punishment and reward scheme, but it's not. We are not punished for our errors nor rewarded for our right actions. We merely receive the consequences of our actions. Ultimately, karma is a weighing system. Our individual karma is the sum total of all our actions. The more we live with right action, the more liberated we become personally, and the more we contribute to everyone around us. When we fail to live well, entangled in wrong actions, the energetic residue of our actions remains with us. This residue is called samskara in Sanskrit. Bit by bit, over time, we become more and more weighed down by our unresolved issues, our samskaras, and the negative consequences of our actions. Our karma and samskaras show us what we have yet to learn and understand adequately. They show us what issues are unresolved and what we still have to deal with. The consequences of our actions provide feedback and teach us lessons on how to live well, what to do, what works, what not to do, and what doesn't work. This means every experience is an opportunity for awakening, and it is wise then to pay attention and attempt to learn and grow from everything that occurs in our life. One of my teachers used to say, what you run from, you run into, and what you run from runs your life. This means that our karma and lessons follow us wherever we go. And they will dominate our life by coming up over and over again until they are addressed and transcended. Make a commitment then to live well with right action each moment going forward. Aim to face your life with the courage and fortitude required to learn and grow through every experience. And I thought I would share that with you this morning. The card of karma. It's something to think about. It's something to apply to our lives. This is Nancy at a Crohn's Intuition, wishing you many, many blessings. Namaste, my precious friends. <laughs>